Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the media. Uh, thank you for being here today. Uh, today's press conference is an update on um, Tropical Storm Jerry. Uh, First Minister Keynes, the Minister for National Security, will give an overview. He'll be followed by the Director of the Bermuda Weather Service, James Dodson. And then we also have uh, Shaila Lehman from Balco, who will provide an overview of Balco's activity. And finally, we will have Kelly Trott from the da Disaster Risk Reduction and Mitigation Team. Thank you. Good afternoon to the press corps. We are here to provide another update with reference to Tropical Storm Derry following a meeting of the Emergency Measures Organization this morning. Bermuda is to experience tropical force winds later on Tuesday evening. I will let James Dodgson, the director of the Bermuda Weather Service, discuss those details. This morning, excuse me, this afternoon, we have Shelley Lehman of Balco. She's also here to provide us with an update. This afternoon, we have Ms. Kelly Trott from the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Mitigation Team. She also joins us to give a briefing. I will commence with the update. All public schools will open as usual tomorrow. All buses are running as normal and are scheduled to run as normal tomorrow. Old government offices will open for business as normal tomorrow. The road clearing continues and I urge everyone to use caution as they are riding and driving on our streets. The ferries are running as normal tomorrow, Tuesday, with the exception of St. George, which is the orange route, which will not run on Tuesday. Trash collection, that will be collected as normal on Tuesday. If Tuesday is your normal day for putting your trash out, then put it out on Tuesday. We will advice on Wednesday's trash collection tomorrow. Marsh Folly is open for trash collection and the times are 7.30 a.m. until 4 p.m. Please take all your trees and foliage to the Marsh Folly facility. Please be advised that the dumping fees have been waived. From today, Monday and through to Wednesday, all beaches are closed for swimming and water activities. Again, from today through to Wednesday, all beaches are closed for swimming and water activities. The Aleph International Airport will operate today and tomorrow as normal. No flights have been canceled. However, check with your airlines direct directly for any flight queries. Also, you can go on to www.bermudaairport.com for further information. So essentially Bermuda, Tuesday will be business as usual. Tomorrow at 12.30, we will provide an update where we discuss all of the information for Wednesday. Tomorrow, we will have a media briefing. And just for some background, we will give information as to when people should be off the road for Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. As you know, we experienced a hurricane, a category three hurricane last week. We recognize that the precautions that we're taking are normally not done for a tropical storm, but we want to make sure that Bermuda is prepared and that we've done everything in our power to minimize the risk to loss, excuse me, to minimize the risk to injury and to life on the roads. And so tomorrow at our media briefing at 1230, we will give a further update as to the roads and what time people should be off the road. I would like to once again express my deep appreciation to all the groups, the organizations, the government and, not, and non governmental per personnel who have worked tirelessly to get Bermuda up and running after last week's hurricane. We are very grateful to you and to all of the aforementioned organizations for their hard work and for the many hours that have been put in. We've had, we would like to also recognize the highly stressful time that this has been for Bermuda. We have been operating at high levels of anxiety for over a week. We will ask everyone to pay attention to your stress levels and the stress levels of your loved ones. 
Some signs of stress include difficulty sleeping, limited attention span, the increased use of alcohols, alcohol and drugs, and abandoning healthy eating habits. A few coping tips. Please connect with others. Try to get adequate amounts of sleep and the proper nutrition. Exercise and rest are also very critical. Later today, we will put up some more coping tips and some details on our government website, www.gov.bm. The Emergency Measures Organization, or the EMO, we will meet again tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. We will assess Tropical Storm Jerry and we will make some more decisions with reference to Wednesday. We will then update the public in our 1230 press conference right here and then at 1.30 we will go and make a similar, read a similar statement on the emergency broadcast station at 100.1 FM. If you know anyone who does not have access to the, our online media sites, specifically our seniors, please encourage them to listen to 100.1 FM at 1.30 today and again at 1.30 p.m. tomorrow so they can stay abreast of the storm activities. If you have not done, please download the Tree Frog application. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. So I'll give everybody an update now on Tropical Storm Jerry. So as we, as we um, move into this afternoon, we're seeing increasing cloud across the island. That's actually the approach of Jerry to our distant south at the moment. Uh, we're seeing the breeze pick up a little bit, but it's not really till tomorrow we really see those winds pick up. Um, patchy rain and showers developing especially tonight into tomorrow, so today should be relatively dry. And then those tropical storm force winds, as it currently stands, are expected to develop during the mid, middle part of, mid to late part of the evening and continue through till the mid to late part of Wednesday morning. So we're looking at about 12 hours worth of tropical storm force winds through Thursday night into, sorry, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. With those winds at tropical storm force, we can expect certainly storm force gusts, potentially even hurricane force gusts over the higher elevated and exposed parts of the island. So that's something to bear in mind. But as it stands at the moment, we're not expecting tropical storm Jerry to develop into a hurricane. Very, very low risk of that. So tropical storm, but a, tro a strong tropical storm. So we need to be prepared for that. Now, after Wednesday morning, we should see those conditions, those weather conditions start to improve as it moves away to our distant north. We're expecting Jerry to move by its closest point of approach at the moment, around 50 to 60 nautical miles to the northwest of the island on Wednesday morning as it then moves away into the Atlantic, well out of our area. Now, in, in social media, I've seen concerns particularly about other systems in the in the Atlantic it's not just Jerry obviously we're keeping an eye on but there's Karen well down to the south of our area and we have Lorenzo that's just developed off the coast of Africa the latest information I have on those two systems is they're not a threat to Bermuda at this time we're looking we're focusing on Jerry as it comes to Karen it's expected to move northwards towards the island but then move away to the west towards the US coast and not affect Bermuda directly. So as I <laughs> stated it's not a threat to Bermuda at this time but we'll keep a close eye on that system. As for Lorenzo, well to the southeast of us just moving off Africa now, that is expected to develop into a hurricane, it's Tropical Storm Lorenzo at the moment but it's expected to recurve in the central Atlantic well to the east of Bermuda so again not a threat to Bermuda at this time. One thing that I should emphasize though, particularly with Jerry at the moment, is the seas are beginning to build quite significantly. So we've got dangerous conditions, particularly on the South Shore, and we've already mentioned that, the Minister's already mentioned that. Um, we are also likely to see down the road probably some swells developing from Karen and Lorenzo later in the week, probably into the weekend, but we're not expecting any weather associated with those systems at the moment. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, members of the media. Belco has made great progress and restored power to approximately 26,000 customers. Work now continues on main branch lines and crews are getting to smaller pockets of outages in neighborhoods in all parishes. Residents can assist by clearing debris from their yards that may cause further damage when Tropical Storm Jerry impacts the island later tomorrow. 
However, residents should never take any unnecessary risks and attempt to remove any foliage or debris from power lines. It is clear that as high winds hit the island, it uprooted a large amount of vegetation and caused extensive damage to our infrastructure, more than had been identified in early assessments of our transmission and distribution system. As a result, it may take a little longer than anticipated to get all of our customers reconnected. However, we are very fortunate and thankful to have assistance from some of our recent retirees, as well as linemen from Algonquin Power and Utilities, with more arriving shortly to get all customers restored as quickly as possible. Their extensive training means that they can hit the ground running. Their experience, skill, and professionalism will help to further increase our capacity to address the remaining outages and bring households back online quickly and efficiently. This is even more important as we prepare to strengthen our systems and brace for the potential threat of Tropical Storm Jerry. Belco crews will continue to work between 8 a.m. and midnight across the island to restore power. I would ask those still without power to have patience. We are getting to you as quickly and safely as we can. Safety is our top priority for Bermuda's residents and for our staff. On behalf of all of our staff at Belco, I would like to thank all those who have been instrumental in getting the work done efficiently and safely and ask for the public's patience as work continues. Residents can visit the Belco website at www.belco.bm for up-to-date information. Thank you. Good day, Bermuda. Just a few tips and reminders. As we know, um, some people have been without power for a considerable length of time. If you have any food in your refrigerator or freezer, it is probably going bad. Please discard it, do not eat it. The hospital has reported numerous persons that have come in to be treated for injuries related to repairs of their homes. Please be careful with the proper safety equipment such as gloves, goggles, hard hats. Do not attempt any repairs that are beyond your physical or technical ability. Debris. If residents can clear debris as much as possible in their neighborhoods to allow Belco trucks to access the areas, that would be most helpful. Also, storm drains. It is anticipated that Jerry will bring some rainfall, so clear drains to avoid or mitigate flooding. And last but not least, stay out of the water. With the arrival of Jerry, swells have increased and the seas will be unsafe. Thank you. Any questions from the media? Um, uh, Mr. Keynes, uh, we have heard reports that some of the buildings damaged in Humberto may have contained asbestos. Is this something that uh, the ministry and the government is aware of and looking into? We are not aware of that. Obviously, uh, if there is damage, the, the damage will be assessed, it will be triaged, and based on the triage reports that we receive from the different government agencies, we will deal with that on a case-by-case on a, on a -case basis. Any other questions? Gotcha. The question for Belco, actually, um, can you say with any certainty that customers will be restored before the arrival of uh, Tropical Storm Jerry? Unfortunately, we can't um, declare that at this stage. We continue restoration efforts, as mentioned earlier. We are working from 8 a.m. to midnight, sometimes longer than midnight, um, in an effort to get ev everybody back on as quickly as we can. We're finding that small neighborhoods have been impacted um, much there's been much more destruction than we originally anticipated, so it's just taking a little bit longer. Can you say how many uh, retirees uh, agreed to come back and help? Right now we've got five recent retirees. And how many were asked? Um, five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, a question for the minister. Uh, yesterday you mentioned that um, a helpline for seniors needing uh, roof repairs um, uh, was given out. Have you received any calls? We, I do not have the number of the, uh, how many people have called. I do know that what we use to judge whether or not people are calling or how many people or how the services are going out. I can tell you that we've received some 
the Bermuda Fire Service. So they have gotten a number of calls and they've been quite active. Uh, they have gone up on countless amounts of roofs and been helping the general public. And so where people are able to do the repairs themselves, they have been doing the repairs themselves. But we've received reports that the fire service have been going out and that they've been helping our vulnerable people. That is a sign that the system is indeed working. Is the government funding those repairs for those the government who is not. Them? This is triage. And so if you are not able to do it yourself, if you are a senior citizen, we can actually repair the roof. We're just covering it with tarpaulin to make it to make it safe for the time being. And then the person shortly thereafter is going to have to make the long-term provisions to have to have the house uh, sorted out. Thank you. I think it's something that I'd like to share with, with um, members of the media. We're looking at the storm and we're saying we went through a category storm, category three hurricane last week. And this is just a tropical storm. The emergency measures organization are actually not looking at it like this. We are looking at it as we want to make sure that the public is at the highest state of readiness. Make sure that over the next 24 hours that we're doing everything that we did last week to make sure that we're prepared. When you're driving on the road, we want people to exercise caution. We're getting into the days now where people are getting frustrated because their light's not on. You've heard from Belco, they're doing everything in their power to make sure the lights are getting turned on in a timely fashion. The Bermudian way is to be helpful to others, look out for your neighbors to make sure each other are taken care of. Let's be smart when we're dealing with the food in our houses. Throwing it away uh, when we're doing our repairs, let's be mindful of wearing our safety kit as our Kelly Trot has recently, has recently uh, shared with us. But most importantly, we're looking at our young people. I know my niece and my nephew, they're really, really mad at me because they had to go back to school today. But sometimes we have to make difficult decisions. And one of the decisions that we were, as the Emergency Measures Organization, we wanted to put this country back to work. We wanted to get our young people and their education jump started. And though it's not popular in every uh, corner, it was important for us to get Bermuda Incorporated going again, and that is something that we were committed to. The water situation, it's not perfect, and we apologize to moms and dads who have had to go out and purchase water and put water in water bottles. That is something that we're working on, and we believe that we'll have all the schools tested in the not-too-distant future. The health of our students is important. It is critical to us, and so we have a plan in place, and we're going to make sure that our students remain healthy. So just. Be patient with us as we get our country back on its feet. We have a, a short-term strategy, and remember, our objective was just to get our country, country back on its feet after a storm. I can tell you, as the Minister of National Security, I have briefings with the Premier and my Cabinet colleagues every day. The Premier shared with me that he is happy with the clip that we've got in this country back on its feet. As a country, we have a lot to be proud of, and we should continue to prepare uh, for Tropical Storm Jerry, and I believe together we can get through it. We have a robust plan in place. The EMO will meet again tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock, and we put the last touches on our plan. Again, we'll meet here at uh, 10.30 tomorrow, and then 12.30, excuse me, we'll meet here at 12.30 tomorrow, and then on the emergency broadcast station at 1.30 to give an update to, to the general public. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <clears throat>